All right, let's get right into it. I'm using the F major scale, although I forgot to turn on the highlight. That is what I'm using. Travis Scott mainly uses D minor or its correspondent F major. Using Neglected Piano by Analog Lab, we will lay out a simple melody. Now highlight your melody, alt shift click the slider icon and bring it down to a quarter of its size. Then export drop semitones if you'd like and time stretch back to its length. This will give the Don Tolliver Travis Scott retro sound you will hear in most of their projects. Travis likes using that fat greedy bass synths or Reese basses so we'll go with this. Then add a clean acoustic guitar for the beat switch up. We will then shorten it by half and do the same for the export settings we did earlier. You can use one shots as alternatives for all these sounds by the way. After all is done you should have this. Welcome back everyone, hope you're all doing well. My last video dropped and it's not doing numbers like it used to. A lot has changed over a couple years so I guess I need to start posting more shorts, TikToks and just be more consistent overall. I will try to post insightful videos. If you got any suggestions let me know, I've been gone for a minute. But honestly glad to see there's a lot of tutorials out there now compared to a few years ago. Beats have gotten better and more experimental. Anyway enough talking, let's get straight into this tutorial. So starting with sound selection, we're going for a Travis Scott style so I went with this ARP sequence from Analog Lab. Layered with a guitar, some strings for background of the track, and that synthy synth. I feel like this is a good start. If more sounds are needed, you can always add or remove throughout the process. Okay, now getting into the melody, I went with C sharp major scale, which isn't really popular in his tracks, but I found it fitting for this beat. Some of Travis Scott's beats do use this scale, just not as much as F major. Now we will lay our chords out on the piano roll. I have scale highlighting on to make sure I'm in key. Now moving on to the guitar, we'll create a simple melody within the scale. I usually just mess around with the keyboard until I find a melody I like. Then quick export your sounds individually and drop the pitch to your liking. Next I use the same chords as the first notes we laid out. Now using the bass notes from the chord we will add it to the actual bass and make it a little bit more melodic. After having the instruments layered, we'll move on to the drums.
While all sounds are in the channel rack, I take this opportunity to send all tracks to their own mixer track and do some quick mixing. I'll go ahead and drag and drop my mixing and mastering presets to make this process faster. If you don't understand the mixing and mastering method, you can purchase these from my website or watch my mixing and mastering tutorial on my channel. We will go over the mix together here regardless. The track is practically finished. From this point, you can add transitions or automation clips. I do this for most of my tracks. Once all edits are done, the track is finished. You can see here I chopped the vocals and made them play in different sequences. So that's how you make a Travis Scott beat. If you learned anything from this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.